Okay, so this video um, shows as proof of um, of um, design that the 120 volt version of the uh, Dean Bear power supply uh, works. Okay, so here's the power supply here. I'll flip it over in a minute once um, we finish showing it running with the computer. You can see the changes I've made to it. Uh, it's currently connected by a wire to my step down transformer which gives us 120 volts output. It's connected then to standard Australian 120, uh, sorry, 240 volt output. So the two fly leads from the power supply run to power of the expansion interface and to TRS-80 Model 1. Model 1 and the key keyboard and the expansion interface are joined together by the usual ribbon cable. Firstly, we'll just test that the uh, computer runs as a regular uh, computer on its own by powering it up without the expansion interface turned on and yeah, you can see it works okay next we can power up the expansion interface and the computer we met with the usual garbage screen it's trying to find a disk but there's no disk connected so at the moment the power from the power supply there is uh, being fed successfully to both the um, expansion interface and the computer I'll just do a. Uh, if we then hold uh, breakdown and power it up, yeah, mem size, mem size, and off it goes. All right, so the power supply works. Turn everything off, and I'll just turn off the mains. Then I can handle this power supply. Turn it over for you to have a quick look at. The wires there are just for testing, so that changes it from a 240 volt supply to a 110 volt. So that's the supply, tested and working. Thanks for watching.